even if we get it onto our local road right now it's it's impassable from a from a uh, you know until it gets plowed. New at four, a San Diego family is among those pleading for help to get out of the San Bernardino Mountains. The area is buried under several feet of snow from the recent storms, and many people are stranded. Although a state of emergency has been declared, those that are stuck are still wondering when plows and rescue crews will get to them. The latest winter storms have left the San Bernardino Mountains dealing with situations most have never seen before. The snow-covered roof of a market in Crestline collapsed. A natural gas explosion in Twin Peaks blew out an entire wall of a home. And all over the area, people are buried under feet of snow. Yeah, so you can see the, the snow is pretty much up to the edge of the house. Kirk Taylor and his family came up to their Running Springs cabin from San Diego days ago, never thinking they'd still be here all this time later. So mostly we've been very, very fortunate. Um, compared to a lot of others. So. They say they were stocked with supplies and do have a generator, but it went out for several hours until they could dig it out from under the snow. At this point, they also have to dig out their vehicle, and even then, it's unclear when plows will make it to the smaller roads. Even if we get it onto our local road, right now it's it's impassable from a, from a uh, you know, until it gets plows. Governor Newsom has declared a state of emergency for the county and several others impacted by the storm. The Office of Emergency Services says the National Guard has been deployed and they're working with Caltrans, Cal Fire and San Bernardino County to get rescue crews and plows out to the areas that need them. But at this point, there's no exact timeline on when help will arrive. We're blessed in the sense that, you know, we're able to move around physically, but there's a lot of people who are not so fortunate. Now that family says they have also reached out to private snowplow services, but so far no luck on finding anyone who is actually able to come help them get out.